Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna pit the Haida M10 filter holder against the Nisi V5 Pro and see if we get any vignetting on the new Nikon 14 to 30 millimeter S lens for the Z system. So let's jump in. So basically I already had the Nisi filter system and I have invested uh, quite a bit of money into the filters themselves by Nisi. Um, Nisi's been around since 2005. Height has been around since 2007. Lee, Koken, and all the other filter systems have been around since the mid to early 1900s, if you can believe that. I chose Nisi because of it. I have some friends who already had the Nisi system and I got to test it. And that's usually how um, photographers would uh, pick a system because they have some friends that have already used that system and um, are saying that that's probably the better system for them. But also because Nisi um, is a, a newer uh, filter company and they're using newer technology, they're using this nano coating, which I can tell you from firsthand experience and dropping my filters in the ground in the sand, um, that the, the new hardened coating by Nisi is one of the best coatings I've used uh, to date. Anyways, back to this. I want to say a big shout out and thank you to Gerald and Dunn for uh, his review on the uh, Haida M10 filter holder system because that's what made me buy the system and actually do a side-by-side -side comparison. And again, this comparison is really more about the Nikon Z um, new lens, the S lens that just came out for the Z mount called the 14 to 30 millimeter S F4 lens. And, and if it's vignetting for either one of these systems. So right off the bat, the um, Haida uh, M10 system is a step up in technology. The holder itself is a step up in technology from the Nisi system because of this really cool removable and replaceable rear um, polarizer system and I'll pull this uh, this uh, filter gradient filter out if you look um, both the uh, Nisi and the Haida system have circular polarizers and they're both adjustable via a little um, button that you can spin if you don't know what a polarizer is the polarizer actually takes glare off water or, or even glass if you're shooting into glass and you want to see what's on the other side of the glass and you're getting a glare um, if you just spin these wheels that circular polarizer will somehow take that glare away so you can see right through the glass or right through the water I'm sure you've seen fishermen using polarized sunglasses and that's so they can see through the water so that's what a polarizer is so the cool thing about the Haida M10 system is that when your filters are on the system and you want to remove that polarizer you just pinch these two buttons and pull it out and then um, the kit comes with a blank to put back in that slot so you don't get any light leakage from that that hole that area where you pulled the polarizer out with the Nisi system when you pull your um, outer filters out you you have to unscrew the polarizer and that takes time and and you might um, move your your camera and and change the composition and you don't want to do that so so there's the advantage to me uh, and I'm sure to you of the Haida M10 system is that you can simply pull the filter the rear filter out uh, put a blank one in Haida makes um, ND filters as well to go in that spot from I think two millimeter uh, two um, two stops to fifteen stops, um, so the huge advantage over the Nisi system. But again, that's not really what this video is about. The video is more about vignetting on a super wide lens. Does the Haida vignette at fourteen millimeters, fifteen millimeters, sixteen millimeters? Does does the Nisi? vignette in the corners at 14 millimeters, 15 millimeters, 16 millimeters. So let's find out. 
So here you can see, uh, at first you can see the hideout. And this is at 14 millimeter with the polarizer in it. And I'm spinning the outer, um, I have no filters by the way on there, it's just the polarizer. And I'm spinning the outer um, filter holder and you can see in the corners um, that the filter holder can be seen or is vignetting or making shadows in the corners. And then I'm gonna zoom out from 14 millimeter all the way to 20. And again, this is on the 14 to 30 uh, F4S lens by Nikon for the Z system. And there we're back to, um, back to 14 millimeter. And then I'll pull the polarizer out on the Haida that we are getting vignetting in the corners at 14 millimeter. And that's to be expected. The, uh, both the Haida and the Nisi system are, are only a hundred millimeter, um, filter system. They're, they're very small. Hence, they're only good for about 16 millimeter. Um, all right. So anyways, let's switch to the Nisi system now. And it was hard for me to unscrew the filter system to show you both comparisons or not the filter system, the polarizer. Uh, to show you both. So I just took the polarizer out so that you can see the vignetting without the polarizer. And, and truthfully, at 14 millimeter, I'm going to say that the Nisi has a little less vignetting than the, than the Haida. Now you can go back and hit rewind and, and, and watch. Drag, drag the scroll wheel back there and and watch, but I'm I'm thinking at 14 millimeter, the Nisi, which is this video, has a slight uh, less amount of vignetting at 14 millimeter. Of course, at 15 and 16, there is no vignetting to my eyes, anyways. And and again, I'm using a this is a gray wall. I should have probably used a white wall. So, anyways, again, this wasn't a video really about the. The Haida system itself, uh, you know, a techy kind of um, Gerald Undone video, which by the way, thanks a lot, Gerald, for making me spend $195. You got me all hyped on this system. Uh, really, I am still hyped about this system. This, this is probably the coolest idea, the, the neatest invention um, uh, since sliced bread for filter systems. Uh, Nisi was one of the first systems, by the way, to put the polarizer in the rear of the filter system and allow you to adjust it without removing your filters. And, and Haida just took an idea from Nisi and, and made it better. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it, again, it's a big thanks to Gerald and Dunn. Uh, without him, I, I wouldn't have done this video. Um, and again, this video is really more about the uh, 14 to 30 millimeter lens, the, S, the F4S lens for the Nikon Z system to see uh, if the vignetting occurred at 14 millimeter, and, and it does. Uh, these are very small filter, uh, portable, in, in little bag, portable systems that you can take with you. Um, and and with, on a Z7, you can crop in and, and remove the vignetting that way. So uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm an old dude trying to make uh, 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 some waves here on YouTube, trying to put some of these young guys to shame. Definitely not Gerald and Dunn because there's no way I can compare to him. Uh, if you like Gerald and Dunn, please go subscribe to his channel. He's, if you haven't already, he's, uh, he's super awesome. Great guy. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.